Jullie hebben allemaal een beetje verwolken ochtend hier en ook die voor om die te komen eens. Ook die voor elke persoon in die plek hier en ook hier dat ik weet dat je de plan met volgend. En die spreker wat kan praat hier en dat. Dus wat hij gaat zeggen, dat het goede waarde kan wees hier en. Misschien voor ochtend hier en elke man wat die zit hier. Maar dat er die naam van Jesus. Amen.
Ja, du also, wir so sehr rechnen, dass er nicht mehr über die Trappetlern nicht. Er geht schon mit ihren Bären über Trappetlern. Das ist fair, klar. Er geht wieder an die Doktor, du sagst, wenn ich sehe, dass er mal sagt, dass ich mich nicht daran kann, bin ich verfangen. Er geht in die Ausbrache Buch, das war ein Donnerrad gewesen. Die Sonntag hat er gestern am Brei. Morgen habe ich hier ein Video. Da war ich mir die Platte mit Sonntag bereit. Ich habe nicht so viel lange Video. Ja, ich bin ein Engelsmann. Ja, ich kann das nicht verleisten. Ich habe mir morgen auch noch gebeten, ich kann auch noch mit dem Ding noch etwas achterkommen. Ich frage mich, ob ich das geleistet habe. Ich habe gesagt, ich habe nicht das geleistet. Ich habe mich dann stark wieder gebeten. Hey, mein Engelsmann. Ich habe gesagt, ich habe mich dann stark wieder gebeten. Ich habe mich dann stark wieder gebeten. Ik zal die dan op die padlijst daar, die dan bij het tijd. Ja, zo kom ik terug, ik rijd niet door haar, ik kom mijn vrouw af, dokter toe. Voor die draagelijke afspraak. En ik lijst daar, pastoor hoor is een getuinis. Wat treffend is. En op het stadium op die pad. Praat ik van een gedeelte in van die hieling. En hij zei, Psalm 6 of 4 of 6 10. En hier mijn binnenste. Wat ik toen nou, en ik zei, die beheer, maar als dit van een mens kan gebeuren, dan kan ik zeker dat ik aan mij kreeg gezond wees nou. En ons rijf verder op dit toe. En op pad zoek, toen zei ik die vijf van die kop en die stil en daar is een aankaart. En die dokter stop, ik kon eigenlijk haar uit doen, want ik kreeg het zeer. Toen al gaat hij wel in. Plaat dat hij een MRI scans gaat doen en ik ga in zijn spreekkamer en zit en wacht voor die nies. Hoe lang ga ik nou leeg, hoe lang ga ik al wees? En hij plaat op zijn tafel gesit en hij het in zijn stoel teruggeleerd. En ik dacht, oh jee, dat is zeker beter dan wat ik gedink het. En hij het vijf jaar terug zijn plaat uitgehaal. En hij het vergelijk en vroeg, ik zei, kijk, wat gaan die aan? En hij zei toe vir my, Jesus, jy, daar kan niks veel doen nie. En ik verstaan, hij zei vir my, kijk, jy, jy kan nie gesreg, en my kinder, hy is 100% reg. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, dat is precies een jaar terug nu. Nog geen dag zit bij hem verder gehad. Ja, dat mag niet eens. We hebben geen draag, genoeg van, zonder een nacht bij hem. Ja, dat is wel leuk, ik heb tegen, tegen is dus helemaal niet goed. Die is een pak, die knieg. Ik heb al aan de huis toe gereid, ik heb mijn vrouw naar de huis toe gevind en die pijn is die slaap, hij rol rond en en ik sta nog staan om op een paar kamer toe te gaan en ik loop weer. En ik stop zo af, want ik zeg van, hoe komt ze krippen, want ik ze zie het. Wacht van die gewoond. Ja, het is van mij klein die ook hier. Het is weer een stapje dat die lees, niet het. Voor ik verhoor ik voorstel, ik is zo niet weg gezet in Bijbel voor jou en toen ging je er even mee vers. Die vers voor jou, hoor. Dus je zei 64 vers 5. Ik kom om te gemoed wat met vreugde gerechtigheid beoefen. Hulle wat aan ik denk op die via. Zo, de vraag voor jou, maar wat moet ik nou, wat moet ik nooit zien? Dus zei voor mij die jaren zien in eer in glimlach. Voor gewone mensen wat goddelijke dingen doen. En niet zozeer goddelijke mensen wat gewone dingen doen. Oké, zo, amen. Ja, 
Love you, brother. Yeah. Boy. Um, Rory het jou al sê jou allemaal ontmoet. Rory is een groot fysische man. Hy is een groot sterk man. Hy het een groot hart. Hy het groot stem. Het is ook ook om hoe hy het om hier ken. En uh, die oud gesegde is die appel, ek gaan nie net so iets van Rory te vertel. Um, sorry Rory, not, not come talk about you, we'll talk about Thomas. <laughs> Thomas is sy sien, net so iets hier, hy het in die appel van die ver van die boom af nie. Uh, my sien was so graad acht, uh, uh, kos hy is toe, en uh, die eerste twee weke mag ons klap nie met ons seens gepraat het. Die cellfone is weggevat. Um, nou kan julle dink, Mama so uit sy sienkie is, koos hy is toe, kan nie met apparaat nie, mama word opgewerk, papa is opgewerk, en, um, en uh, die eerste, na twee weke kan ons nou bel, ons sit nie erg na ons wacht nie vir die oproep, ons wacht nie, ons is hoor nou by al die ander mamas, alle seens het al gebel, so ons nou hoekom het er nie nog nie gebel nie, en uh, ons kry nommer 033, is, is Pieter Marisburgse kode, hier kry ons een oproep van RDA, en uh, nou beklein ons nie as wie met die phone vat, en dit is echt nie, en ons roep mekaar, en ons sit op speakerfoon, en alles, en ons wil met RTL praat, um, en ons, ek sê, ons is nie so baie talkie te vrees, sê vir hom, RTL gaan het, heel paar goed, papa, papa, maar jy weet, papa, jy weet, ek sê, wat, ho, oh, staar, papa, maar jy weet, ek wat ons die gespeel het, want jy staar, wat, hy sê, ons van die groot, maar hy vind ek ook, hy weis ook, jy sê, papa, jy weet, ek sê, ho, ho, RTL, jy weet, jy weet, jy weet, wat, ek sê, is Thomas, 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 daar die papa, ek, ja, 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 daar die nice opa, en, uh, dis hoe, dis hoe ons vir, uh, met, die, met Thomas en Dyer, en Rory, die mekaar gemaakt het, en, uh, dis al so, ons wil net hoorig gaan met jou, ons wil nie net hoe genoeg met Thomas, so, so, en, uh, wat ek wil daar nie, daar nie te meer sê, is, um, Rory het een groot hart, en, uh, dit wat jy, ek ken nou net vir Thomas, en dit wat ek in Thomas sien, uh, kom van jou af, en uh, jou vrouw ontmoet, dit wat ek van haar gesien het, weet ek kom van jou af, en uh, jou gemeente, die goed, goed is wat ons hoor, is alles positief, maar ons sien uit om, uh, vir wat jy van ons sê het, en wat die jou van ons het. Dank jy wel. Sorry. Hy is ook een briefje. Uh, Lord Jesus, we invite you, Holy Spirit, we invite you today. Thanks for Rory. Put Rory's emotions, uh, self-esteem aside and talk through him. And we're looking forward to what you have to say for us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Bonnie. Thanks, Clinton. I'm from Durban. I don't know how to speak of Afrikaans. <laughs> and, and, then, and then the Lord sent me to Pretoria. And I arrived there with my truck and my four neighbors were Afrikaans. And one bought me crumpets and tea and one bought me wine and one bought me supper. And he had to say, no me Mikey. Would you Afrikaans men said he fair? And you must have a deep. And you must have a my father for tell. En jy moet Afrikaans leer, en jy moet hy manne gaan die en die vee. Ek is hier vandag, ek weet nie, kom ek hier is nie, want ek het julle lief, dieper in my hart. My Afrikaans is baie sterk, maar ek het kou geleer. Maar ek kan nie een ding sê, ek is bakkie boot as sy doen my nie. En as jy met my lach of iets sê, sal ek vir bakkies vertel, hy sal jou doonder. Ek het nog nie eindig weg gekry nie, hy is nog piekie, hy is nog piekie. Ek het jou vraag of daar enige dames hier so was vandag het gehoor as nie, geen dames nie, so hy moet gaan manne goed praat. Dit is een groot voorrecht om hier te wees, ek het eindig, ek kon nie Afrikaans praat nie 10 jaar terug, ons gemeente is nou seker 85% van Afrikaans en dan Die eerste ding die Heer het vir my geleer, toe ons in Durban was, het ons mense in die see gedoop. En um, ek het al gestaan as een jong man, ek het uh, gewas gehaard op my kop, ek wou ook rugby speel, en um, ek was geskop op die school, en uh, ek het een groot brein operatie gehad, 
En my maaikie sê, hy het die brein uit, 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 uitgevat en die gewast en ge, ge, gewos. <laughs> maar, maar het is weg. Het is nie, het is, het is. <laughs> en, uh, ek het daar met die sê gestaan, ek het hierdie, hierdie uitkies gesien, toe hulle gedoop word, en hulle vat hulle kar sleetels uit, en hulle vat hulle wallet uit, en, uh, hulle vat al die besonderhede uit hulle wallet en hulle vat hulle oorloosies af en hulle sit op, op, op daar op die strand en dan gaan het bot hulle gedoop in die naam van die vader en van die seen en van die heilige geest but don't touch my wallet and don't touch my car keys and don't touch my watch en jy raag het nog en jy jyre as ek gedoop word, word ek gedoop met my watch en my wallet en my sleepels en my klaas en my trekker en my trouw en en ek wil met julle manne praat, dis tyd om te doop gewees, julle moet gedoop wees, met alles, in die water van God, alles wat onder die water gaan, jou oorloosie, en jou plaas, en jou trouwe, en jou drinking habits, I said to one of my friends, you drink too much, he said, and you eat too much, we've all got problems, every one of us, one of us drinks too much, one of us eats too much, but you know what, we can come before God, we can deal with this. I can my flow and wood, how far was the wood to speak to the past word. So I understand, I understand pain, I understand pain. My pa was a ongelooflike ookie, my sis het dan gesien, hy op die school gesê, pa, as a meisie met sy pa dood geskiet is, my pa het al opgeleid 15 jaar uit, haar na my rijpie die westrijd toegebruik, het haar daar ontmoet, ek is nou 30 jaar geplukt, draai meisie is goed om hier te wees. So ek het genoeg ons praat oor rechte dinge vandag, manne. Ek het genoeg ons praat een bykie oor saad, en ons praat een bykie oor jou ballers. En as jy dink ek spot, ek spot nie. En Engels noem ons dit die family jewels. Vat hou, hou hulle vast, bykie. Jy dink ek joh, hou hulle vast, dit is een mens meeting, dit is nie kerk nie, dit is nie kerk nie sonder, dit is vrijdag, springday, vat hulle vast bykie, ja ja, haar is nie nie goed, so, ja vat hulle bykie vast, die meisjes is weg, jy wat jy moet doen, maar vat hulle vast, jy sê jy wat, wat die water hier die Engels man, man, ek weet nie, wat is family jewels in Afrikaans? Ja, your family jewels, not your class, your family jewels is die song, Ok, so we all saw me back, but that was the English part. So I'm going to read you a little verse of scripture in Deuteronomy 23, and then we're going to talk a little bit. It says in Deuteronomy 23, <coughs> it says, No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is cut off shall enter the assembly of the Lord. No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ has been cut off can enter the Lord, enter the assembly of the Lord. I have seen many people go through hardships in South Africa. The people that have gone through the hardest hardship is Afrikaans men. It's like Afrikaans men have been kicked in the balls by this nation. And I want to stand with you, I want to cry with you, I want to pray with you, and I want to say it's going to be okay. Very private thing. My first Afrikaans Mikey, he was three months ago in a stupid, ongeluk dood, he had his grave to do. So six years after he came to me and said, Lester, he was a little bit fat. And I also, so I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. En toe ons klaar fiets gedaan het, dan skit hy my hand, dan skit hy sy my bicycle sy hand, hy sê, my bicycle, want hy het groot Engels man te dra, vir so lang. But one day I was, I was cycling, and I hit my pubic bone, and I cracked my pubic bone underneath here. And because I'm private, like you are private, even to hold it here is difficult to do. Because I was private, I didn't go to the doctor. And I got sick. And my prostate swelled, and I started weeing acid, and I had a terrible infection. 
and I was too embarrassed to go to the doctor, and then I stopped sleeping at night, and every time I weed, I thought I was weeding razor blades, until eventually I had no choice but to go to the doctor. And I went straight to the hospital, they took me to a European hospital, which is the worst thing for any man, especially an Afrikaans man, for your private parts to be held by a doctor. I know I am so fast, I can hear it, I can say, you know, it's like so trots. Am I so arrogant, God, that you've got to get me to this place? And then they send me to hospital, and there's no place in the men's ward, there's only place in the women's ward. So I'm sitting with, in a bed with six women in a urinary tract hospital, with six women. And I'm looking around and I'm thinking, God, and he heard my fast go, he heard my fast go fat. And I will say for you, I don't know what's happening in your life, and maybe I can only touch two or three people's lives where the inside of your inside has been crushed. Or things have been cut off or if you've lost something. I want to give you hope today that when you leave here, you have yet as a dom engels a man from Pretoria, but for start, but your laziness. Understand suffering, understands the crushing of your situation, understands the crushing of what's happening in South Africa right now. It's tough. I'm a pastor, I sit in my office with people whose lives are being crushed. And we're too proud to sit here one and say, how's everything? Alles is lekker, alles is flop, but alles is nie lekker nie. Then there's time. Mense, mense trek zwaar. En ek wil saam met jylle kom heel bykie vandag in Hermelo. Pak diep in my hart. Ek gaan die Heere vraag bykie saam met jylle toch kom kry diep in jylle hart. Is dit reg? Ja, weet. En dan sê dit, in Acts, the book of Handelingen, verse 8, it says now, an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go south to the road, the desert road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and on his way he met an Ethiopian eunuch. Say Ethiopian eunuch. Well, what's a eunuch? So Balas is back, say Pili is back, Alas is back, cut off. He met him on the road and he's reading the Bible. <coughs> He says he was an important man in charge of all the treasury of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home he was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to the chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and he heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you are reading, Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The eunuch was reading the passage of scripture. I get the title of the Padak to yes, but you know what it is from Isaiah 53 to 56. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, the guy with no balls, asked Philip, tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about, himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture, Isaiah, and told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, look, here is water, why should I not be baptized? I want to ask you men this question, why? Should you not be baptized? Ek is nou 10 jaar in Pretoria. Die, die grootste ding in een Afrikaans manse leven is dood. Dit is die grootste ding in een Afrikaans manse leven. Ek het een dag in die kerk gestaan, een van die groot advocaten van Zuid-Afrika, sy sien het voor en toe geloop op die doop geword, hy het voor en toe geloop, en er was twee advocate wat langs na mekaar gestaan het, en die een advocaat het vir die groot naam in Zuid-Afrika, so vir die Jose, sal die ook weet, het sê, jy, jou sien moet jou nie. Wat is feit in Afrikaans? Die geloof leer nie. Jy moet jou sien die geloof nie. En ek het hy een advocaat gesien, toe hy af hy kerk gehaard loop het, hy het vir my geval, hy sê, doop en ek moet vir my sien nie geloof leer. 
en hy het in die water ingegaan, en sy sien naal. So laat ons begin met Isaiah 53, en dis wat het sê, he suffered, he suffered beyond human recognition, his body was completely distorted, so nou het ons daar ook hier, hy het geen balas nie, want hy weet nie waar te gaan nie, hy gaan nie roesen op toe, maar hy krij nie die antwoorde, as hy weg gaan met roesen op gaan, lees hy nog die bybel en sê, wie kan my help? En hy sê, met die woord van God, want weet hy, weet, as, as, as hulle jou balas crash, wat was die woord my macht? Vergrys. Vergrys. Then you've got no testosterone in your body. Your body gets it, it, it develops wrong. And all of a sudden, he realizes that Jesus' body was completely, and he thought, there's one other man that I can relate to because his body is out of tune. Come here, somebody, Mikey. Come here, somebody. What you see is a call. En druk hom so hard dat hy begin hy. Nee, nee, met twee ander. Twee ander. Jy kan nie. Probeer, probeer weer. Jy kan nie. Hoekom, hoekom kan jy? Is jou sien? Jy kan hom nie druk nie. Hoekom? Maar jy weet wat jy, wat wat het sê, jy sê al 53, het sê, en please the Lord to crush it. He said it would please the Lord to crush him. So not only is his body distorted, but he had to crush his own son. God had to crush his own son. So that guy who had been crushed here could take the pain and transfer it to his crushing. Every one of us has got pain. Every one of us. I had a brain tumor. You've lost the farm. Your wife has left you. Something has happened to your manhood that is deep inside of your heart. But all my fun wants to sit lots of the blood. And for the first time in his life, he realized that that which crushed him, and you just got to touch your ball, somebody hits you in and you and you die. But the crushing of that, the crushing of Christ, was stronger than the crushing of his own testicles and he transferred that crushing to Jesus and he started to get healed. And he saw Psalm Gereis met two Engels man, he saw, and that's my Afrikaans doctor, Mike. So that was Graham Dickerson. He had to be in his gelees, the Vasai 3 doctor kies, but for more is near his vrou in his ziel. Hy kan nie daai pijn voel, dis te diep vir my. Hy kan nie jou pijn voel nie, dis te diep vir my. Maar wat hy in pijn is, toe die, toe die, toe die vader vir sy seen gekras het, kan ons die pijn van ons leven vir hom gee, en die volheid van die sy leven terug na ons toe vat. <laughs> I pray for that doctor so many times. I don't know how to get to the bottom of his pain of losing three children. But I know this, the pain of the crushing of Christ is enough to deal with the pain of losing his three daughters. That was the day I had to get to the hospital. I said, I'm going to go. I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's not good. Ek sê, dokter, wat gebeur? Hy sê, ek het het gisteren op my badkamer vloer gele, sonder kleer, ek het net diep in my hart geheil by my dokter kies. En die Heer het vir hom een bottel vodka gewees. Vodka. En op my vodka staan dit 10 times refined for extra ordinary purity. Hy sê, die Heer is bezig met my. Manne, Die Heer is bezig met ons. Die Heer is bezig met ons. Vir my, moes ek in die hospitaal le, met 6 vrouwens, en die Heer het my aandag gekry. Ek sê, van hierdie plek, moet jy alles vir my gee, en sal my leven vir jou gee. Is jy alles al met my? How we do it? Is my Afrikaans nie te slecht nie vir die Engels vir my? So I have to put the steel in the glass and fill up for the water again. But why not keep your seats? 
And we keep reading and keep reading and keep reading in Isaiah 54. It says, Sing, O barren woman. Say, Sing. 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 You know, you get it. We're charismatic church, but it seems no, because no, the thing about it, there's no part of the Afrikaans mess in that sort of thing. They say, They're great, Rabbi. They're great. Yes, they're great. I was on the next step, let's end the last one, don't be in it. Yes, let's be key, let's be key, let's be key. Let's end the last, don't be in it. Say sin. Sin, no barren woman. You don't have to be a barren man if your cause don't work, nobody knows. But if you're a barren woman, it's a shame in this society. And God says, Isaiah 54, Sing, O barren woman, you who never bore the child, for greater will be the children of the barren woman. How do you fill a shed in Herbala with 150 people on a Friday morning unless God is working? Yeah. Gentlemen, here in this room is seed. Seed not by man. Seed not from Wally or from Wale. This is the seed of God. God has put you on the 1st of September into a shed in Urbano because God is busy working. And what the country can't do and what the government can't do, God can do. This is an empty womb that God starts to fill with 150 farmers and say, I'm going to release these men into Urbano and I'm going to start to produce a crop. See. Amen. Amen. See. Amen. You say, I oh, a charismatic. No, I'm not a charismatic. I just will not allow the world to crush my balls. Because Jesus got crushed so that everything that I go through, I can transfer to him. Can you imagine I go into church and my wife's father's been murdered? And we go into church and I lift my hands and my wife is standing with the hands next to her side saying, I'm not going to worship God. He's not a good God. He stole my father from me. And then our leader calls us to a 10 day water fast. 10 day water fast. You think that's stupid? 10 days. So we take, and we pray and we pray. And we're students. And the lady gets a thousand people in the room. The lady gets up. She says, Is there a lady here called Melody York? It's my wife. My wife says, yes, it's me. Right at the back of the chair. She comes to the front. She said, God spoke to me. God says, he wants to be your father. The Spirit of God touches her. Immediately she takes her crushing of losing her father and gives it to God and takes the blessing of God and appropriates it. Amen. 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 You know what it says in Isaiah 54? You will be my husband. What kind of a husband are you? You might be a good father, you might be a good lawyer, you might be a rich man, but are you a good husband? When I get to heaven, I know this. God's not going to say, Who grew us a cat to my life? Who feel cat to give a kid, Lighty? I can say, Who did you know my daughter? And sometimes we, we're so big and we're so tough and we're so everything. May God grab your balls and you start to be a good husband. Amen. Amen. And some of you need to stop drinking more. So much. I grew up in an alcoholic home. I understand drink. I've never had a drink in my life. And people say it's because you're in the church. I say no, it's not. It's because I'm an alcoholic. And with my temperament and my loudness and my over-the-top personality, a drink, I'm going to end up with like sitting somewhere. <laughs> and some of you shouldn't drink. I'm telling you, some of you shouldn't drink. And you say to me, his rules are no, no, just connive it. That's the grace of God. You'll save your family. The rest of you carry on. 55. Isaiah 55. He says, Come, come all. This is the minister of finance. And, and, the, and the Bible says, Come, all of you who've got no money, come drink and eat. Come and have a free child with us. More they said, how much must we pay you for speaking? You pay me squat, nothing. I do this for free. Come and have a free child. Come eat and drink. And the minister of finance thinking, how can you do this? <coughs> you can't have free child. There's, how can I come to God for free? He's a minister of finances. You know, friends, I want to share you a quick story. Five minutes. We built a building in COVID in lockdown. God told us to build the building. Now, I've become a good leader. So I lead this thing. We've got amazing Afrikaans people in our church. We think that there's the 191 million rand. We're going to build this building. And I don't know how it's going to happen, but the, the, the advocates and, and the lawyers and all those guys are going to give lots of money. 
and, and we're going to raise 15 million rand the first thing because I'm a good leader and, we, and I preached for three weeks and we raised the vision and the first offering we raised 50,000 rand. Ek is nie so goeie leid in nie. Ek heb vir twee dag geheim, ek het vir my maak is gesê, ek gaan huis toe. Ek gaan het nie meer doen nie. En God sê, be still and know that I am God. This thing that we know in South Africa has either going to be supernatural or we're not going to put it off. Because God's not an accountant and God's not an economist, he's a father and he works with seed. He works with seed. And we have to it. And this guy, the Bible says in Isaiah 55, as the word comes down from heaven and causes it to blood and flesh, causing seed for the sower and bread to eat. So yes, the guy's got no balls, he's got no tori, but God says, I'm going to plant a seed inside of your heart and it's going to start to produce fruit. We can't produce fruit by ourselves. We are like eunuchs. We have been crushed and cut off. But if we give our lives to Christ, then His Word plants in our hearts, we get to start to produce fruit, produce a harvest. You know what God did? God used an Afrikaans man. I met him, DHS. I'll never forget where I met him. I met him on the side of the field. Hello, 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 more than this morning. Hello, more than this morning. On Sears, God saw me and we spill. One can only get us. He listened to a sermon. That sermon touched his life, planted a seed in his life. I could not wait on him. I could not even see the story of him. But I heard his story from my boodschap and he said, Rory, you have to be for sick people, but the Lord has given you a sin to give him to be on sick people. I haven't seen a person healed in years. But I got a message yesterday, pray for the sick that will be healed. And then I had dinner with him last night. There's a seed plant and now we've got a friendship. Then there's a guy called Jan Willem, I met him. He said, I thought, that guy's like my brother, I don't even know who he is. But when I met him, I thought, you can tell him, you. My heart and your heart. And then God starts to produce a harvest that makes the guys in Ermelo and the guys in Pretoria we start to grow together and produce fruit. <coughs> so they're like, yeah. And so, so, so we get 50,000 and I said, God, what must I do? He says, you must give away everything. So I gave away my car and I stopped my salary for 22 months. He said, how did you do that? I said, I don't know. I had a son at Hilton College. I stopped my salary for 22 months and I walked. I just walked. And when I walked, it didn't stupid to see a 52-year-old Texas woman walking in Pretoria with a bag over his shoulders. And people stop, they feel sorry for me, they feel embarrassed for me, they stop and they say, why are you walking? I say, because I gave my car away. They say, why did you give your car away? I say, because God told me to. How's your marriage? <laughs> How do you know? I don't know. It's gave my car away. <laughs> Pick up, how are you doing? Why are you walking? I gave my car away. How's your pornography? <laughs> How do you know I'm a porno addict? I don't know. It's going to my car away. <laughs> now we still got to raise 91 million rand. So I'm in the shopping center the day before lockdown and God shows me a number plate of a car. We can put it up there. And what he spoke about 46 and ended up healing his knee. And I saw this, and, I, and as I looked at this car, I thought 46, all 46, all 46, all 46. Be still and know that I'm going. And God said, You can't build a building, you're too stupid, and your balls have been crushed. And so you're going to have to trust me to plant a seed in people's hearts. And the car next door, and God said, Psalm 46, and the car next door, and the car next door, there were eight in a row. Eight in a row. 46, and God says, the rest of my body is this just to be. Just be still now. And know that I'm God, I'll build your building for you. And we trusted God. And we trusted, we went into full lockdown. Six months we didn't meet. Then, then when we started meeting, we get this thing. A million rand, both points, on the gate. 100 Rand Building Fund Anonymous. Accept them will be bought. Accept the suits, the cat, but million rand on the camp, 100 rand, 
uh, anonymous, and how can you say this is the kerk bow? Million rand from the Afrikaners, 100 rand from the Englishmen, this is the kerk bow. <laughs>
ons bouw is in Afrikaans maatskapie van hulle defente die kan die volgende een aan sê en hulle bel my sê, ons soek die geld en die heren sê van hulle defente moet die waarheid nie net stil blij bezig hierdie is my beste maaike, is Engels man wat daar man die heer het om vertoon het die gestuur om die boere lief te hee jy kan sien, sy hoor is slecht, jy kan nie goed hoor en een dag het hy saam met een man gesit, die kou van een merwe, die kou van een merwe, sê jy is doof jy het nou genoeg met jy oor en sy geld was klaar, het na my kantoor toegekom en sê ek het hulle gesê, as ek fiets saam met hulle rui en die geld van hy fiets rui, die gebouw toe gaan is in my bene stek, het 6 weke gehad, het 1400 kilo's gerei in die moenke, saam met fietsreier, het 2.2 miljoen rand gereis, sy oor is nie goed nie, maar sy bene stek, en elk een van ons, het weaknesses, en elk een van ons het strengths, en as ons saam kyk, in hierdie kamer, is daar genoeg, bene, oore, hande, neese, om die hele stad van Ummelen ons te boot te draag. You can turn this town around. You can usher in the blessing of God. You can change the career of your grandchildren's grandchildren. You know what it says, you can look up. It says in Isaiah 56, Let not the eunuch say, I am only a dry tree. It says this in Isaiah 56, I will give the eunuch a name. They cannot have sat on here. I will give the eunuch a name. I will give the eunuch a name. Greater than sons or daughters. I will never cut him off. Say cut him off. This is how the scripture starts. For everyone whose testicles have been crushed or whose male organ has been cut off. <coughs> Starting with that scripture, he gave his crushing to Christ and then God said, I will never cut you off. That which is cut off, God said, I will never cut you off. And the next verse says, and why should I not be baptized? Because in that story of his brokenness, he found wrapped around that story was Jesus. <clears throat> to get 150 men into a cell in Ermelo on a Friday morning because of Ian Boo, but the Yerus said, Nee, weg the market. And they came for the other Boo, but for the English market, Viet Yer the Yerra is Biersach with you. It's Biersach with you. Maak klaar met die historie. Are you okay? Is it, is it, is it, what are we okay? Can I finish? Two minutes. Two minutes. I played at the 7A rugby, at the 8A rugby, at the 9A rugby, at the 10A rugby, at the 11A rugby, at the 12A rugby, at the 13A rugby, at the 14A rugby. And the 15 I got dropped for the first time. Say, I have been dropped. I think. In South Africa, I think that people that have been dropped the most in South Africa by everything is Afrikaans men. I think they've been the toughest time in our country. I've seen, I have a church full of them. I can see their pain. I can see the hardship that they've been through. And everybody just puts that to the back. And even me gives people, even the woman get a chance. And this group of men that God has raised up. <coughs> Say, I've been wrong. <laughs> And I got dropped, and my dad wants me to play every match, like more than he does, he goes to watch his son. 
My dad wants me to play every match, but that day, when I played for the B team for the first time in my life, my dad was in, in Johannesburg watching the Zealand Cavaliers against the Springboks at Ellis Park, and I phoned him, I said, Dad, I've been dropped. And he phoned me and said, don't worry, boy, guys are winners, you'll bounce back. And I put the phone down and I went, went back to my dormitory and I get the hail and said, look, I saw the elk and best they put here by my bar for me for the ice pot to take it. I say for me for the best pot to take it. But it was the night. To act on my felt and I think for the first time in my life, for the first time in my life, I have two words to hear what my life is going to happen. To act on my felt and I have to say, it may be a few years in the morning, for Joe Burke to be late. He had been there for 6 years, and when I had been there for 10 years, I had been there for 2 years. Go, Michael! It's the best place I've ever heard in my life. I've heard the best place, it's the best place I've ever heard. En as ek die bal geval het, gevang het of gemis het, die dekkel gemaakt het of gemis het, ek het net die toe voor die gehoor. Koud wakey, koud wakey, koud wakey, koud wakey, koud wakey! Toe klaar was, het hy twee koudse het koop en twee paaien. Die koudse het waarom die paaien was koud. Ek weet nie hoekom jy af te net is. Maar miskien het hy net nie maar het toegekom vir jy. Ons het sy kaart geklim, het sy hand op my kop gesit, en my oog gekyk, en gesê, jy weet wat my sê, ek het jou lief, ek waar jy nie wat my mis, maar jy speelt vir, jy is my sê, en ek het jou lief. Ek wil vir julle manne sê, kou boekie, kou boekie, as sy vader in die hemel, wat sy sê gestuur het, hy kan sy sê nie sê maak, maar die vader in die hemel het sy seen seen gemaakt het, so dat ek en jy en die dokter van sy drie dokterkies verloor het, en jy wat jou plaas verloor het, jy kan weer omstaan, die saak van die Heere sal in jou hart kom, en ons gaan sê die oes van die Heere en ek my wat. Dankie. Yeah, uh, thanks Rory, I'll try my best in this now, thanks for come, coming to travel with your team, you were spectacular to last night, to miss you today, wow, lovely. Of course, you're going to have a great time.